Hey, everybody, welcome back. I almost went out with the wrong rookie. I had um, Ju Chun in there and had her fully equipped and everything. I, I guess I tossed her in at the last episode and was just like not paying attention. But uh, I've got it sorted out. We got Luna Welsh ready to go. We got Lee. We got Leighton in. We got Ryan. We got Danielle. We don't have, we don't have any heavies. Where are they? Well, they're all injured. Well, how long for? Uh, forever. Look, pretty soon they're all going to be coming back and we'll have a full squad. But like, things are rough right now, dudes. Things are rough. And we have a big mission here. This is a, um, a council mission with uh, Zhang, the triad guy. And... Who knows what's going to happen? We've got uh, three grenades. We have a scope here, and he's got the new sniper badge. So he kind of wants to be lone wolf style. We have damn good ground on him. I don't know if we'll get to use that on this map, but whatever. Uh, Ryan has really good aim and three med kits, so there's that. But let's go. See what we can do. Uh, as of the time that this video goes up, you guys will have seen that I started a Frostpunk 2 beta run. I don't know how deep I'll go with that. I just wanted to check it out. I'm more interested in the scenarios and the, like, the story modes and stuff. But uh, very cool, very different from what they were doing with Frostpunk Drop 1. But also today, the day that you see this, we're if you're watching this right when it goes up, in a few hours, uh, there'll be another playthrough starting that I think you guys are going to like. It's about a game that got mentioned so much when I was back doing a lot of Midnight Suns content, people are like, oh, uh, you like superheroes and you like tactics? There's this game that looks cool. And I looked into it. Wasn't nothing much was happening. There was like a demo. <laughs> Anyways. You must be my contact. Buckle up. No one who fears reprisal would make an entrance like that. Nice shot. Welcome to the squad. Not so different from killing a man. You don't want to. It won't take long for them to keep realize that? I'm missing, especially since I've got this thing with me. If you take me with you, it's all yours. What's the thing, That's our Chang? Man. Just tell looks us. Looks like he's got the package with him. We'll need to get him back to the extraction point in one piece. His former employers, not to mention the invaders, will be looking for him. Okay. Objective updated. So, oh, it's not going to take me back. <laughs> all right. So, we need to get all the way through this. There's some full cover stuff in the middle, yes. But we the high ground stuff on either side that could cause some problems. I feel it like we're better off progressing um, along the side so it's a little safer and prevent some of those potential Affirmative. flanks. Now, I don't recall if this is like a thing where we got roamers or if it's all drop-ins or combination of the I'm two. I'm not sure where my boss got this thing, but he was taking offers from a variety of bidders, regardless of their intentions. But let's progress as normal and see what we find and adapt. Okay, everyone's overwatching. Don't be lazy, switch to the pistol. Yes, sir. Enemy forces headed your way. Strike okay, one. well, get ready. There we go. Okay, guys, first test. I'm not confident. Oh boy, we're getting super flanked. Five. Oh wow. Okay, you guys, you proved proved me wrong. Damn it. Proved me wrong, but we are flanked, so don't get too pumped up. Please tell me. Oh, nice arm. Nice freaking arm. I think we just take that, yeah? Because he's Overwatch, Tay. We don't have any lightning reflexes on this squad. Of course. 69 versus... Yeah, 69 still. I think the safest thing to do would be... Take this. Get him exposed. And then have the sniper take a shot in the open. Now, this Overwatch not getting removed, I don't know if that's just a UI thing. But I always felt like damage removed Overwatch. Maybe that doesn't happen to XCOM 2. Oh, yeah. I have good feelings about, about Jubei. I have good feelings. Good vibes. Okay, let's push in a bit. Copy that. 
not everybody can. The job itself seemed trivial, delivering equipment to a predetermined drop point. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile oh my God. forces about to hit your position. Is this is this every? Oh, they're behind us again, dude. No cover though. That's a bonus. We're gonna have a couple shots here. One whiff, two whiffs. Yeah, that that yeah, checks out. Yep, 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 yep. And what? You just don't you just don't see it? No, you don't see them. No, yeah. How could you possibly? Okay. Leighton in again. From downtown, he could prob probably be the cleanup. Now this guy's not overwatched, interestingly enough. So what determines that? And who should I try to get this kill on? Welsher? Got it covered. Take him. Another nice benefit of absolutely critical, man. Once I saw this device, I began to fear the implications of our involvement. Okay, let's keep as many people overwatch as we can. Um, maybe here, Danielle, take that, and we'll just dash Leighton and up. I actually don't know if this will count as elevation. But with that sniper badge, we want to we want to be further away from him. That's not going to happen for a bit, okay, if at all. Okay, let's use a turn to reload. Uh, you're fine, and you're fine. I've crossed I should have moved you, baby. During my life. But now we all face a common enemy. Okay. Danielle, work this. That's cool. Ryan, move up. Me go. Welsher go. Why would he throw that pistol away? It was a perfectly good pistol. Maybe it's out of ammo, sure, but he didn't say that. He could have had a gun. Okay. Dropped in. Overwatch. Dropped in. Overwatch. We did kill that, though. Good job, guys. Little delayed. Won't hold it against you, I guess. Um. Well... Danielle, can you hit that? Yes. Yes, you can. That might turn into half cover. I never really know. Nope. Jube? Come on, buddy. Let's look at this. Scope there. So, no, you're not getting high ground. Fair enough. But it's another kill for Jubei! Feed him. Feed the kills to Jubes. Will do. Alright. Uh, Zhang. Chill here. Now, if I'm trying to, like, gamify this a bit... Intel okay. suggests hostiles are headed right for you. I don't know, and I can't quite pin down what's causing them. Is it, like, what's causing them to drop? Is it the number of turns? Is it our position on the map? Is it Zhang's position on the map? Like, I'm not 100% sure. But now he's out of vision, which is scary because I am essentially in half cover against that. Um, if we're all grouped up, he could just do, like, an acid spit thing. So I maybe want to separate a tad. Affirmative. And hope that we can overwatch this. Uh, frick. I don't really want to move here. And here's the thing, like, do we overwatch this? Do we hunker this? I think we play it safe. Conquer this. Assume he's coming towards us. 
Hopefully he ends in a spot that's workable. Oh, he acid spit. Uh, yeah, as expected. We can heal that off, but... Like, this is not great, obviously. But I have squad sight, so we'll take the 50-50 here. Wow. Okay. Okay. Our sniper is good. You see him at 4%. Now watch him come up and just pop our, pop our uh, guy there. He's got this full cover to move to. If he doesn't, oh, oh God. Whoo! Yep. I can call their moves. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, they probably, they probably won't. That was some distance too. That was probably a 50-50. a 50 50 I do have a potential flank here that I think I gotta take. 76 with Ryan. What's the pistol? Same. Up to three. So I think this damage does what? Is this guaranteed two? Or is it a larger spread of one to three? Anyways, let's be, um, let's be sure about it. As sure as 76 can be. Come on, Ryan. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Okay. So we're going to need to heal. <sighs> Layton in, dude. Remember that. Because you only get one. I would like, like, you know, in XCOM 2, there's the mod where it shows you the the percentage on the on the actual shot as it's happening. I really like that, and I wish we had that there to see what that was. That's probably a, a coin flip, maybe slightly less because he was very far. Okay, if I move Zhang up here, I feel like he probably gets that bonus now. The um, sniper badge. It's 10 aim and critical chance, if not within seven tiles. So this could just be his home. In theory. Unless they start spawning in behind me. Which is possible. Come get some. Okay. Okay. Ryan to the corner. I can't even... Oh, hello. Ooh, what the heck was that? Ooh. What happened there? This is like an edge case thing. So she... Huh. That's really weird. Moving to position. That's too bad that we didn't get a free little snipe there, eh? Heads up, Commander. We've got an intermittent oh contact. It's something. Oh my God! Are you freaking serious? Oh, do we get shots on this though? Come on. Any no, guys, really, guys, really? Like really? Like, really? It's like, it's just, it's, it's just hard to watch sometimes. So that's not a flank. Well, it is, but he's too far. I have a freaking muton on the field. Should I save this headshot for the muton? <laughs> Probably. The thing is, this doesn't this doesn't kill him if I don't headshot. 79. Headshot. Come on. Layton it. Come on, buddy. Okay. You know, everything is everything is fine. This squad is really messing things up for me. Can I just say? 
I feel as if if I jump over this, that squad's going to be active. So, what do we do? I think we smoke. Trying to make sure Zhang is in there and baby. Then baby has a the best shot. I mean, psh, yeah, well, obviously we'll take that. Oh, yes. It's two very low percentages. Okay, now though, now we got the the muton. I've got eyes on. Is he going to be able to get a shot? We're in smoke. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Here's what we're doing. Pull him back. Full cover. I can't believe that that group is not active. Take some full cover here. Ryan is going to reload. Everyone else is going to overwatch, including our sniper. On overwatch. And let's see if that guy starts coming in here. Because I'm not too keen on running out there. I'm ready. As you can imagine. On observation. We'll do one person reloading at a time. But if we... Oh, hello. That's one miss. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. We'll take three. We'll take three, I guess. We might have his uh, headshot off cooldown again. Oh boy. Okay, that's full cover. But now the problem is... Okay. <laughs> um, now the problem is that... He's in half cover. And he could flank us here, right? He could slide over here and flank. That's something we need to consider. Definitely. I have another smoke, but it, but I but I'm but I'm still flanked. But I could potentially move people to the half cover and smoke them. Still have a few shots. Like uh, This is not a flank here. That's in line with this. And then I'm dancing around this group too, which is kind of messy. I do have this grenade, and so part of me is thinking, okay, is there a world where I can get that grenade toss from down here? It's That's pretty far. It's really tough to gauge. Right? Like, that's kind of scary. I su yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to... From here, I, I don't think I could throw a grenade that far. Like, that's... That's pretty far. The other question is, does it trigger that group? I'm thinking no. But if this plan backfires, she will die. I actually, if I could just even remove the cover and not even hit him. I'm on the move. I'd be okay with that. Come on. Come on. Welsher, let's see what you got. Oh, you've got an arm. You're not hitting him, but that's, I'm actually okay with it. I need the tree. And then I got a headshot, which should be a very good percentage. Oh. Oh! Really? It doesn't even destroy the freaking thing? Dude! Oh, that is now quite bad, but we do have smoke. Damn it. 
Leighton, let's go. Okay. Intimidate. What did that do? Did that cause me to panic or something? Maybe it should have. <sighs> okay. I think we moved to full cover. Well, hold on. He could get to here, right? And flank somebody. Which flanks her. But if I come down here, I at least... I have a potential shot. It's not great, but it's a it's a shot that I can take. Leave it. And I can still move in and I can smoke these groups. 37... Um, does he have line of sight on these back tiles? He doesn't. But that could be a distance thing. If he came in, maybe that changes. I would love to be taking the shot with Baby. Don't get me wrong. I feel like we're going to need her to do this smoke. I don't think I can venture down there, plus the flank. They gave him his opposition. 34? I mean, could happen. The way I'm looking at this, we might as well take these shots because if he wants to, oh, no. I think he can kill here anyways. And if we're just going to use a smoke. Then, oh, are you serious? I can't hit all four of these guys? Are you freaking serious? Oh, that's, oh, that sucks. I thought, I thought for sure I'd just hit all of us. There's not like some weird edge case thing. Okay, well in that scenario, okay, so here, here, here's my, here's my thought process. Now, my thought process is, if I smoke these two down here, he's got shots in half cover against us up top. Right? Um, baby is leveled up. And we're slightly leveled up here. These two, less. I hate to say it, but true. Um, if I put the smoke down here we potentially lose a higher rank if he hits the half cover if I put the smoke up top unlikely that we lose these guys but he's got a guaranteed flank on this unit here which is pretty much dead or we take the shot and we leave it up to chance it's a almost a 50-50 coin flip if it lands he dies if it doesn't one of us probably dies but if I just do the smoke, one of us could probably die anyways. Because half cover against a Muton doesn't feel great. I'm, I'm firing. Oh, I can't look. Oh! Il est mort, je confirme. Wow. I, I, I... Baby. That's all I gotta say. Baby, just save the day. I think the logic makes sense. On Overwatch. Okay, so here's the thing now. Now we have to deal with this group. Um Yeah, now we have to deal with that group. Again, we're if we stay up here, we're in a position where like the ha the we don't have cover, right? So I think we need to play down here. Got over oh, here. frick. I did not think that would trigger them. Okay, it's fine. Oh, God, really? Look, I mean, I will have these. Um, if I don't target him... Hold on. So my offense is 89. 
Is this sniper badge adding to this offense? It must be, right? Yeah, I think it is. Because... Well, is it, though? Because now it's saying my aim is 79, which it's not. It's 89, as we just saw. This takes us to 99. Well, minus 40 should be 59. Wait, what? No, I'm crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, it should be 59, I feel like. Oh, wait a sec. Are we within tiles? One, two, three, four. Hold on. Let me see here. Bien, commandant. Let's see if that changes things. 59. Oh, there's sniper badge kicking in. Okay, cool. Okay. So, I was just wondering how that was all represented, but she was too close. Okay. They gave him a position. Shang. Oh, that's going to that's going to cancel his thing probably. Cuz he's technically an allied unit. Okay, so I'm going to take a shot with our sniper. That's definitely the play. Probably not going to hit, but... Okay. Leitonin does not miss. And now I'm thinking... We hunker. We got hunker in full cover. I'm not going to use smokes. I'm going to get them to come up. We're at risk of being acid sprayed for sure. Now I am gonna pull Zhang all the way back. And we'll have to dance. Yeah, there's the poison. I did put baby up there thinking that, whoa. Okay, I thought that hit. It didn't. Okay. We have med kits. We don't need to panic just yet. This is full cover somehow. Is that accurate though? Luna's aim is not going to be that good from there anyways. Shang's like, I'm going to go home. So we're back up to 59. <sighs> Man, he is on right now. Dude is on. Okay. Now, baby. Baby's shot could be very good. Come on. Come on, baby. Hell yeah. Je m'en suis occupé. Hell yeah. Affirmative. I know I get criticized for playing too defensively. I and I get I totally get it. I get it, but at the same time. Trying to keep everybody alive. It's stressful. Okay. Now we'll start advancing slowly. Heading to that location. Keep our sniper sniping. He, I don't know if he's did he even missed a shot. That's it's very impressive. And some of those shots, he doesn't have any business landing. Really, let's be honest. People sometimes scoff at like landing when you land those like um, 
really low percentage shots. But there's situations where it's like, if you take enough of them, the math should eventually math. I don't love... We're kind of spread out here, and our sniper... Well, I may want to move him more central. Oh, actually, I don't. I don't hate this. Let's get him in there. Okay. We're getting close. Commander. Affirmative. Full cover all day. Je vais vers la position. Is that maybe that's it? Because we're not. Oh, never mind. Hostiles are advancing on your location. Never mind. Ready up. He's in cover. It's unfortunate, but we should have shots. Oh, a sectoid. We got him. Yeah, good job. The, uh, he did miss a shot. He did miss, so... Is my running gun good enough for this? It sure freaking is. I can't combine that with close and personal, I remember that, but... I'm going. Oh, oh no! I forgot about the Overwatch. God. Didn't even didn't even cross my mind. Chances are very low on that anyways to hit because that's like a dash. And so the math on that I believe is if you do a regular move and an Overwatch triggers, then it's 70% of the of the of the unit's aim. And if it's a dash, it's a further 70% reduction on that already reduced 70% of the aim. So chances are very slim with the sectoid, but still a, a best practice that I did not abide. Oh, are we done now? Are we done? So close. Copy that. He's not quite in there, so I don't want to. I, I don't want to dash everybody yet. Je rejoins la position. Frick. Okay, this guy's dropping in the open. That's good. Oh, on top. Dudes, we gotta work on that Overwatch game. Oh my god. Is that ever scary? Yeah, so now... <laughs> Just feeding kills. Now, if we miss all these shots... I don't know what to tell you. These are, we're gonna have four shots between 60 and 70%. And I can't move because of the overwatch. We could potentially dash somebody. And we have a smoke, so that's an option, but he could come down here and just flank um, Jube. So we have to take this shot, and if he wants to, if we miss all of these, then we deserve to die. That's basically the way I'm looking at it. Because even if I were to smoke here. Well, yeah, and then, yeah, no, we, like, this is. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take the shots with our non-smoke first. Okay, we got it. All right. Squad's landing today. 
what can I say, man? That's uh, very nice. Um, yes, might as well Overwatch again control. because Layton and can't leave, so. On Overwatch. Uh, yeah, move. I am alive. But the life I had is gone now. That went pretty well. Funny. That my life should take such an unexpected path. Turning my back on old friends to defeat a common enemy. Welcome, Zhang. Happy to have you. The device and our contact are secure. Get back to HQ for debrief. <laughs> Let's look at this place. We didn't have any heavies out there. Imagine if we did. Holy smokes, man. So a couple of interesting things happened there, in my opinion. I think we made the right call. Like once we saw that Muton spawn in, we made the right call to pull back and try to get some overwatches. Not very successful, but had a few of those landed. That's a much different thing. The, uh, the play down here to get the grenade on was great in theory, but this tree not exploding, lesson learned, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe you guys knew that, but I, di I didn't. I just assume that things are going to blow up. Um, and then Leighton and landing a bunch of really, really nice shots. That was cool. And the enemy had some probably 50-50s on us. I think we approached like as best as we could have. I did trigger this pod a little bit surprisingly, but also... That was, I guess, karma for us being able to see that pod and not trigger them when we were approaching on that right side. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It was, it was, it's done. It's over, <laughs> and everyone's alive. And now maybe they can give us a freaking break, and we can heal or something like just anything. Nice promotions. We tried to feed him a lot of kills, and uh, yeah. Didn't get promoted, but that's fine. That's fine. Sergeant Baby. Feels weird. Suppression or revive? Oh, yes. Yes, revive. I think just the way that things are going, with the amount of injuries we've been taking, the amount of times that we're stabilizing and stuff. I, I love suppression, don't get me wrong. But I think this, combined with the, the med kit thing, like that's, that's what we're going to do. Watcher, rapid fire, or flush again. I think. Yeah. Hmm. I think I gotta go rapid fire. Okay, Danielle. Reaction shots. I don't I don't I feel like covering fire is like just not that great. You know, if I'm overwatching and, an, and I know an enemy sees me, it already feels bad. And then I'm shooting them back and I'm like, they're probably in cover, right? So probably full cover if I didn't figure out a way to kill them. Whereas Sprinter gives me a little bit of extra flexibility. And another support. Sweet. Support would be just awesome. I hope I'm. Yeah, I love I love supports, guys. I love another. I get another support. What else could I have asked for? Would I want a sniper? Maybe. It's fine. That was a lot of money. Nice, nice little bit of income there. So the lift's gonna hit in four. Satellite in eight. Carapace in nine. Satellite in nine. And then we have the council report. I this month has to support the turned out to be Commander. very, very nice. I've already put the new I think I'm... To work in the lab. Well, hold on. The new engineers arrive I think I'm just going to save this money. We're always glad to have more help down here. As the alien attacks have We're going to start to excavate, our casualty and we're going to need to build chrysalid armor and all that stuff. Screening potential candidates at the barracks immediately. And he's right. Um, we should potentially get some more recruits. We have one, but let's let's hire another one. Bring them in in a couple days. Okay, Chapman's back. Thank God. 
Cutter's back. Raven 1 is back. Kainoa's back. Robinson is back. Remember her? New soldiers are in. Norpendrock is back. The lift is done. to get both of those going. Do we go straight to month end here? Cray is back. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, carapace armor big. Now I'm wondering... Well, we should knock out the autopsies, because they're instant. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. Okay, defense matrix dodge. So that's for the, um, yeah. That's not bad. Single use again. Muton autopsy. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Adrenal neurosympathy in the gene lab overloads the adrenal glands, glands when a kill is confirmed. The soldier emits pheromones that grant offensive benefits to all nearby squad mates. Cannot occur more than once every five turns. Chrysalid autopsy. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Titan plating, needle grenades, and bioelectric skin. So this is something you equip in the slots, right? I believe it is. Needle grenade does equivalent damage over a much larger area, but the projectiles cannot penetrate cover. Units in the in cover relative to the center of the blast will be unaffected, so it doesn't destroy cover either. Bioelectric skin, uh, revealing but not alerting nearby enemies and immune to strangulation. It's good. If I go into experimental warfare, that gets me into like the foundry stuff, and then I can get into some of those nice upgrades. I do wonder if I am delaying this arc thrower for too long though. Like I get that that's the thing I need to be doing, but is that the best thing I should be doing? Precision laser is obviously nice. Heavy laser is obviously nice. But I think some of this, like, those guys are kind of strong as they are. I'm honestly leaning more towards experimental warfare. And maybe meld. And then maybe the arc thrower. Is that crazy? I don't think it's that crazy. Okay. Carapace. So I can build, what, three? Uh, I can only build two. I'll take it. Absolutely. So we just need alloys. It's a big thing. Satellite should hit here. Excavation complete. Let's get that one going. Complete. Let's get that one going. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Now we got to launch. So because of the UFO getting shot down and su succeeding on the mission in Egypt, we're able to launch these. Satellite launched. Satellite launched. So our funding is increased by 
This is probably the continent that I would have picked if it was my choice, but I let you guys pick and we got these two. Now the thing is, I think I should launch in India. Because we're not going to save Europe. And it's worth 150 a month, which is huge, right? And all of this now is increased by 30%. And then we just we try our best I'm receiving you. to get future we'll combat. That contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Right? North America's gone. Europe's gone. This is also kind of like It's it's been nice to see like some of these ones that are left have the bigger um, incomes. Now, here's the other thing though. I'll need to get some ravens up in this area, but we have, we're going to have a lot of money coming in. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. So look at our, look at our monthly income all of a sudden. Wow. That is nutty. Now, <laughs> I should wait till the next month. I know this is, like, minor. Incoming transmission. Commander, unfortunately, one of our members Bye, has France. chosen to discontinue their involvement in the XCOM project. You'll be missed. Excellent work, Commander. Look at how many this freaking missions we had to see our in that month. Now, realistically, I think... Worthwhile. I think we, hope that we should probably have an extra couple of deaths the beginning of because we had so many injuries and so many the down soldiers. Threat. We could easily be Remember, a little bit more behind on personnel. We'll be watching. Um, we could easily be more behind on personnel. Okay, so now we're going to come in here, go to Asia. I'm going to get two of these going. And then... Don't really need to sell anything. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Floater corpses. Could build more satellites, I guess. We're, we're, I think we're maxed out, right? Oops. Satellite uplink yeah. facilities at maximum capacity. So additional uplink required. We should build some more uplinks. We'll start that. That'll give me an additional three, I think. Officer training school, I'm not gonna bend it like I could put anything here. So I should probably put alien containment. I need power, so I gotta wait for this. And this one's already cleared, that's sweet. So in four days, I start building power. And we start excavating here. This could be alien containment, this could be foundry. I mean, technically I could even put a workshop or a lab there, but I don't think that's what we need to do. Okay. Foundry, Reaper Rounds, Flashbang, and Phoenix Cannon. Substantial extra damage to affected targets, but the additional casing elements make it less accurate at long range and won't work on pistols. So this is good for the shotguns, I recall, I recall. Foundry, Phoenix Cannons, should probably get those going. Unless we want to wait for EMPs, but we do have a lot of money. Flashbang is nice. Robotic and psionic immune, though. Oh, I can't even do these without alloys. I just noticed that. I'm gonna go meld. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. And I can squeak in a foundry, actually. Three power. I mean, I planned that. I knew that. I knew that. Satellite 
coverage now available over Nigeria. Excavation coverage now available over India. Now, do I just go ham here? I think so. I won't have to worry about power for a long time. Completed the other one. Need to wait for power. Oh, and I need 30 engineers now. So, okay, so yeah, that scales over time with each one you build, right? That's fine. So this will be a spot, well, this could be alien containment, or if I really wanted to maximize, I could build a workshop there, potentially. This needs power. So I think we hold for a bit. I also like, I know we're sitting on some money right now, but um, so I couldn't need that. What is it? I, I need alloys and stuff more, but. It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. I remember when this came out after Enemy Unknown, and I was like, oh, this is so sick. Like, this was such a cool idea. I, I, man... I really hope, I really hope there's an XCOM 3, like so badly. I know people have doubts, Jake left, Garth left, um, but what gives me hope is, is one specific person that still works there, and that's Mark Nada. And Mark Nada was the lead designer on XCOM 2, was it? And specifically responsible for tuning like the Iron Man Impossible difficulty stuff. And he, his knowledge of XCOM games, he's been there for a long time, is like really, really, really good. And he was the, uh, the game director lead guy for Chimera Squad, um, which obviously very different from, felt pretty different from XCOM. But if there's anybody that could do it, it would be him. Now, if there's ever news that he leaves, then I'm like, ugh. But it's kind of crazy to me that they wouldn't eventually do an XCOM 3. You know? It would be crazy to me if they didn't do it. I don't think it's quite in the realm of, like, Half-Life 3, that amount of pressure. Because I... Personally, I think people for an XCOM 3 would just want XCOM 2 better looking, more customization options, more abilities, different soldier types, different enemies, different maps, different like ways of activating pods or like some type of thing to avoid, you know, the, the traditional play style, like some little tweaks to turn things on its head a little bit. And like, I guess when I say that, that there's a lot of things, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't think it, it, that that team is so good at coming up with cool ideas. Like when they introduced the chosen and everything in XCOM 2, like all of that stuff was so well done. I just, it would be such a shame if we never saw an XCOM 3. That's all I'm saying. Cybernetics Lab, Genetics Lab, Mech 1 Warden available for manufacturer. Mech time, baby. Depth Perception. 
adaptive bone marrow, 40 additional meld reconstituted. Here we can build the mechs and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. Okay. Uh, genetics lab counts as a lab for adjacency benefits. Adaptive bone marrow. Wound recovery times reduced by 66% and it stacks with rapid recovery. Nice. Uh, soldiers generate 2 HP per turn up to the HP max without armor. Depth perception, aim and crit chance. 10 aim on any shot after a miss, hyper reactive. Kinetic strike module or flamethrower. Kinetic strike is very strong. Flamethrower is pretty cool. Uh, look, so I think now... So this we could go to power to the UFO power source to boost our fighter craft and our mechs. Nav computer, ability to detect incoming UFOs. Be pretty good. I think now though we go we go arc thrower. So let's just take a look here. So once that power comes in, these things are relatively cheap to build. Genetics lab, cybernetics lab. I'm not too concerned about adjacency bonus stuff, but like, I guess I would want to put the mech lab there. Because you could continue to get some workshop benefits if we ever go that route. Um, I should build that other uplink there. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary for me right now, but... We have a secure transmission Boy. coming in from the council, Commander. Lot of downtime between missions here. Site recon rewards panic reduction. Newfoundland! Oh, really, dude? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Newfoundland, bro? We don't even have laser snipers. You know, we do have... Got a lot of rockets. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Dude. And I don't even have six soldiers. That being said, I recall somebody in Discord talking about Newfoundland, and I think the last time that we... or in all of the XCOM Enemy Within campaigns we've done, or the XCOM campaigns in general, somebody... I want to... I don't know if this is a misquote, but I think it was episode 13 in one campaign, episode 14 in another, and then episode, like, 50-something in another campaign. So it can kind of spawn whenever. I will not be taking a rookie, okay? Uh, Zhang, uh, it's up to you guys. Oh, I can't change him. Never mind. I was gonna say, do you want me to customize him? But we can't. Yeah, he'll he'll probably be making it on this mission. Bullet Swarm. Shredder. Heat ammo. Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> God, we have four heavies. Would this be insane? Tell me if this is insane. I mean, it's kind of insane. It is kind of insane. Let's be honest. It's a little bit... Little bit nutty. But it's cool. <laughs> One with hollow targeting would be nice. Now the question is, would I t bring Baby or would I bring Kainoa? The reason that I think Kainoa might be good here. Okay, maybe I'm maybe maybe I'm taking the joke too far. Maybe this would be this would be a much safer build. Okay, go Carapace on Kainoa and. Let's see, so you have 6 HP, you have 6, and you have 7, you have 5, but 
I'm going to keep you out of harm's way. I hope. Basically, who should get the carapace armor? I think it should be at least one of the heavies. 67 aim, 66 will. 75 aim. You win. Something like that. Oh, also, um... Eventually, there's base defense, right? Do I have to, like, keep people equipped and stuff for that? Do I have to, like, unequipping people? Is that a problem? I can't remember how that stuff works. I can ask in Discord, too, but, uh, yeah. The downside of this is that we're not taking a lot of, a, a huge advantage of our lasers. But, uh, you know. see what else is in here. What might we want? So this is massive burst damage, but it's limited range puts the interceptor at greater risk during combat. If I built three of these, I could give one to each continent. And then if I queue these up, somebody actually gave me a good tip. If you are going to queue up a bunch of satellites, do them like a day apart so that if you ever need to cancel one and get your money back, you don't have to cancel all of them in the bundle. Because if they're grouped, you have to cancel them all. So I'll try to remember to come back in a day and, and do that. Okay. Well, I don't have any alloys for that. I think this is this I think this is good. I think this is our group. We've got smoke, we've got three med kits, we've got two carapace armor, we've got two heavies. Uh, not three rockets. We have two rockets. Or, sorry, not four rockets. We have three rockets. But we have hollow targeting, which could help in certain scenarios. We've got Kainoa for lightning reflexes with rapid fire, with run and gun. So all of that stuff is cool. The extra defense there. And then, of course, we've got our sniper who can hopefully get some high ground here and hopefully just stay back and do his own thing my one question because i can't recall is like when we're when we go up to the ship and we have to start navigating back i can't remember how enemies drop in or what or if he's totally if he can't be left alone or what but anyway we'll have to just play it by ear and, and figure it out but uh yeah this will be exciting stargazer geedunk baby tita and jubei wish me luck guys see you next time bye